Hi everyone, I'm Christy, the Connick Estuary Program's Outreach Coordinator. And I'm Jenna, I'm one of PEP's Outreach Assistants. Thanks so much for tuning in to PEP Talk Monthly, where we talk about environmental issues and how you can help keep our waters clean. This month, we'll be talking about plastics. Plastic bags have a lot of harmful effects on the environment. On January 1st of this year, the Suffolk County Plastic Bag Law went into effect. This law requires retailers to charge their customers a minimum of five cents per carryout bag. The motivation behind this law is to encourage people to bring their own reusable bags when they're shopping and to reduce the environmental impact. It is estimated that plastic bags make up 10% of debris that washes up on our coastlines. Suffolk County is surrounded by water on three sides and has 980 miles of coastline. This is also an issue for the Peconic Estuary, which starts at the headwaters in Brookhaven and goes all the way out to this imaginary line that you can draw from Plum Island out to Montauk Point. One of the issues is that plastic bags never fully biodegrade. Instead, they just break down into smaller and smaller pieces. Those small pieces are still harmful to the environment and to wildlife. Wildlife can be harmed by plastic in a couple different ways. They can ingest it, which is bad because if they have enough, they can starve and not get proper nutrition, or they can get entangled in plastic pieces. Um, this can especially be true for sea turtles. Um, their favorite food is jellyfish, and plastic bags look very similar to jellyfish. So a lot of times they'll eat the plastic bags and then it gets stuck in their digestive system, which is very harmful. Mm -hmm. But Studies have even found microplastics in shellfish, so this could be a concern for our favorite Peconic Bay scallop. Absolutely. Additionally, the production and disposal of plastic bags requires a lot of resources. The United States EPA has estimated that average American families bring home approximately 1,500 plastic bags every year. Only 5-7% to of plastic bags are recycled. Mostly because it actually costs about 125 times more to recycle a bag than the value of the recycled product. One of the toughest parts about this law is actually remembering your reusable bag when you go shopping. So we suggest actually leaving reusable bags like our PEP ones here that we have um, in your car or at work. Another thing you could do is after you used your recycled bag is or reusable bag um, is you can actually leave it on the door handle so when you leave the next morning you remember to take it with you and you know you don't have to buy reusable bags just to avoid this fee um, there are lots of other things you could use around your house um, without paying any extra money so you could use um, paper or plastic bags from one of your last shopping trips or you can even make them out of an old t-shirt so there are lots of DIY tutorials online of how to do this without sewing. I did it um, really quick just to show you. I just made a few cuts of the t-shirt and um, made some strips at the bottom, tied them together, and I had a bag in just about five, ten minutes. So really easy. Thanks everybody for tuning in to Pep Talk Monthly. We hope you enjoyed our video and we will see you all next month in February for our next episode where we talk about habitat restoration and living shorelines. Bye. Bye.